Yeah, Gaming Gladiators have specialized in some fast games, both wins and losses in the past, and uh, they're going to need a fast win here against Blacklist Rivalry. We saw the early OBS off the teleport from Celery as it's just going to force a fight on their vision, but they kind of left the hill, and they're going to give up first blood instead. Yeah, it what? is going to be traded out with Tim's, but definitely not the way that Blacklist expected that to go. They do manage to get the uh, the ward kill, though, so that's a little bit extra gold and experience their way. I think it's one of the reasons Blacklist took it in that second phase. Like, they did not want to give it. Like you said, they're trying to pull the lane back, but that also leaves an opening here for Raven to potentially get caught. Instead, it's going to be Ace. They thought they had the damage, but the Leech Seed makes the difference. You know, early dispersion point. This hero just thrives with sustainer supports. Yeah, it's like that classic combination. Celery maybe in a spot of trouble here. Ooh, the bash. Managed to get one bash. Where's the fear shot? Finally, it uh, goes out, but Gabby's already left. Yo, Gabby. He was like, I, I thought you weren't going to use it. I was waiting for so long. You're not oh, playing. and Carlo was making the rotation, too. They're actually going to TP to Fury and out, which does leave Duraccio alone here. Oh, he saved so, the bash. He knew. easy kill to get. Very nice. Gabby knew, dude. He didn't want to waste that bash on the support. Did he get two bashes and two hits? Three hits, maybe? Yeah, we'll, we'll give him a, a little 66 percenter there. The Raven will go down off the tree in rotation. Blacklist did a decent job defending those early moves, and that has pushed Furion down on the XP board. Carlo making a run for it. He's trying to pull the creeps off the tower, but he's going to be caught before he gets back to the jungle, back to the forest from whence he came. He'll die instead, head back to the fountain. Abed has made a rotation, though. He wants to hold this tower. Oh, he got zapped. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. Yikes. I would say there's a little bit more pressure on Blacklist to hold their safe lane, which is where Quinn's rotation is going to pay off pretty nicely. Yeah, but unless Abed's going up there, you, you can't hold it. No way you're sitting up here with Spectre against Raid King with full Skelly boys. His tower's just going down. So the, the onus is on Blacklist right now to make the exchange happen. And Gaiman going to respond. TP rotation coming in from Quinn will at least get one trade on. Still has a Rolling Thunder, so he can still play for it. But Duraccio, he doesn't have Eclipse yet, so the ults for these supports. You don't have Pierce the Veil, you don't have the tree and ulti here. Those are some of your big damage dealers in the team fight. And I mean, Quinn just, he's just running you down right now because there's no control for this Rolling Thunder until you have Overgrowth. Yep. Oh, okay. This Swashbuckle puts himself in range of Abed. Now he has the Rolling Thunder, but may not be expecting this rotation from everyone else on Blacklist. Okay. The charge on through connects with Raven being able to show up with his ultimate. And a big burst of single target damage. Oh, over Tinker. Yeah. Why, why do people hate Tinker? I don't get this obsession, man. He's just chilling. You wouldn't understand. You're a pro gamer. Overgrowth's going to try and bail this out, that but... That is not going to be enough. But Abed can get some return kills. They're going to get a two for one so far, but Abed can keep chasing down more of these heroes. He's going to go for Quinn, but Gabby was going for a different target, and now they're missing the disable and the damage to perhaps get both of them. Okay, bumps him He's into in the, the mines. shot. Celery. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to push him straight <laughs> into those, through the little doors for the Kobolds. Get in there. <laughs> Mind me some gems. <laughs> Well, he'll be farming him for sure. Abed takes away the Wraith King reincarnation. Does need some help if he wants to get a second life. This is nighttime. You have the global aura, but you also have this Radiance completed on Ace, and they want to fight. So you have to be wary about this ball coming into you and not giving up the pickoff. I think you can take the 5-on-5 five five as long as you don't give the freebie to start it off. This is nice why you pick up the shard on Tree and Protector right at 15 yes, minutes. This is, this is very good for Blacklist, because now you're just wasting the time of this ball. You even took the rune from under Quinn's nose, and you're splitting the map, which is what your lineup thrives on. If you have the Midas Breaker, you have the Spectre, you can get the pickoffs. And that information, seeing them all mid, they know Duranchi is alone bottom, and they make a very fast move. One thing that that Blink Dagger really gives them as well, right? Or Initiation, oh, yeah. Especially off of a Treant or a Spectre just starting it off, suddenly the Timbersaw straight on top of you as well. Now, this map is, is not proving to be too fun for Gaiman to play right now, and the burst is so close. Very nice. So we'll see how Gaming Gladiators react to this turn. Celery might end up dying here as he's getting a little close to Abed, who is going to collect some of these neutral items, see if he gets away from this Dura. Nice. Abed making a really good read there. Doesn't actually get away from the stun in time, sadly, but waiting out the sprout and then cutting it down before he used the timber chain was nice. Sadly, though, Gaming Gladiators found him in the end. I mean, he, he thought since he left the team with Arteezy that the cliffs would be more favorable for him. But <laughs> sorry, that one sticks with you. 
our, our tour curse. Yeah, once it's there. Oh, and Carlos underneath the sentry as well. So Game of Gladiators grouping up a little bit and finding a nice rebuttal, reclaiming some of the advantage that they lost. I feel like you should play for the pick off the Manta helps you farm, it helps you push out the map, which also helps you pick off. Got him. Yeah, he's gonna get there in time, but can Stuns you aren't gonna lock last him down? too long. Well, looks like his W just ran out. First okay. damage is enough before the charge could come back up. He has Octarine too, so that timing is a very small window. And then when he gets to his point, he'll take the game over, right? But he likes yeah, to just yeah, yeah. try and get to that point. Uh, so maybe that, there's some influence there. Maybe he just wants to match Ace with Radiance on Radiance Battle. It is a good Radiance game in terms of the mischance going in the fight. And you're not going to lack too much single target damage when you jump on people, right? Between Illusions and Treants and Skeletons, they can tank this Roshan forever, and they'll be able to do it eventually. But Blacklist might be able to get the punish after the Roshan dies here. They're closing in on the pit. They can scout with the tree. Away. Maybe set something up. Again, you just look where Gaiman go on the lanes. They're going to send Duraccio mid. Think about who he's going on and you, you kill the Luna last. But for now, he's Speaking kind of, of east on the map. He's going to go on ace with that reincarnation on cooldown from the last fight. That was the other benefit of that skirmish bottom, right? Yeah. Said so something like this stuff. And again, you're forcing the reaction out of Gladiators here. They're the ones keeping the Pango to try and bail this out. There's no bailing it out. I mean... Blacklist is just playing way too fast for gaming gladiators to keep up, it seems. Though maybe oh, they finally caught something. Abed going to be stuck with the specter on him. Not going to be able to timber chain away in that situation. He just still here for a minute. Bottom lane, we got a little uh, engagement going on. The oh. specter is the one in trouble here. Double yeah. damage on Quinn makes short work of Raven. A Did killing spree. Respect the apple. I don't know. I was telling him the same. <laughs> Continue. Looks like they want to make the move to bottom lane on Blacklist already. The Atos. Ah, the Atos. Surprise. There it is. He's stuck in the ghost. That was a ton of burst damage. Damn. He's going to die twice. Yeah, he's gone. Whirling death. Way too oh, strong. Oh, Duraccio. He managed to get the break onto the Spectre. No Eclipse bounces onto him, though. A little bit unfortunate. He gets bashed up a second time. That is just unfortunate. He just did not get the damage on the hero that he wanted to go on there. Also outnumbered by a large amount is Blacklist. Had already over. killed one and had all five of their heroes, and now they're going to be rewarded with a fantastic team by getting four kills for nothing in return. Triple kill for Raven, but I have a feeling Tim's did some decent damage in that fight. Busy trying to find that right neutral creep to Midas. <laughs> That's right. Ace, you better run. You better run, or your team better hill. go through the portal to join you. Oh, 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 oh. That was... Who's going through who? Ah. Uh, oh. A G Gabby? Okay, Gabby's going to go for it with his BKB. They're going to jump onto the Furion. Immediately, Tim's going to put him down. Meanwhile, the Eclipse on the high ground. That overall destroyed them there. Yeah, it did. It controlled all of those heroes. They couldn't get any sort of rebuttal there. Now the control is wearing out. Blacklist have gotten free. That's a big factor here, is he wants to force the fight. Like for jumping onto the Spectre. It is an easier kill than I think Blacklist yeah, anticipated. What was he doing there? I don't know. Just miss map read. I mean, considering the situation, which was Blacklist got a buyback out of Game of Gladiators, you know they want to try and make something happen. And they have that. an ob sentry in the back, so they saw Carlo here. They see Gabby. And Yules for the bulldoze. Still beating me. He might be able to get the kill on Tofu here okay, before he I mean, leaves, and he does. He gets it with the charge away. Uh, okay, whatever, bro. <laughs> Is Spirit Breaker still broken? I'll, I'll posit that question to you again. If you bash like this man 100%, Gabby showing you how to play this hero. <laughs> yeah. The problem is if it's the Breaker or the Timber, I don't think you have the chain stun to burst them before BKB comes Going out. for Abed. This is a tough kill to get, especially with the BKB, and it does put their supports a little bit exposed. You can see uh, Raven jumps in, but Tofu's going to be okay for now. Helped by the pipe, but Abed, he wants to finish him off. That ghost is so annoying, and BKB is going to wear out. Gabby, meanwhile, trying to control up the Luna. Does hit him with that Ooh. Nether Strike, and it's enough. With the help of Tim's, they've got the damage. Now in the second life, though, he has Carlo. BKB. He's got an overgrowth. He's going to be able to control up the Luna during the BKB. They reset, though, off of a buyback for the Grim Stroke. They got another one out of Gaming Gladiators. Playing around this Luna. She needs to be able to output damage. The Spirit Breaker makes things really hard in that regard. Uh, this hero's just so annoying for carries yeah. when he's charging through off low cooldown. He's also doing a crap ton of damage now. He has Ceremonial Robe plus the Kayayasha. Oh, and he sees so many heroes immediately. Yeah, Kofu's dead. That's a dieback. This fight is already over for Gaming Gladiators. Just 
They gotta get out of here. Well, Tarachio, maybe he can kill the tree and protector, pop the BKB at half health here. It's not looking good. Yeah, kids. he gets run over by Tims and Gabby, and oh no, another bash coming through. Does manage to get off the cheese this time around. Quinn jumping down to the low ground with a swash buckle, caught by the rod of Atos. Samantha gets rid of that one. Another swash coming up in a second, but the control and damage is too much. Blacklist. Their speed, precision, and discipline in this game have been impressive. And now they've gotten to a point where they are rolling over Gaming Gladiators. I, I mean, you just got to throw somebody into the Wolf's mouth at this point, right? In theory, it should be Ace with the second life. But the Wolf is scouting you in Miz. Yeah, and he's catching <laughs> Tofu every single time. The person who's supposed to be able to help them when their front line gets gone on, Gabby with Round the refresher two. goes for it. Oh, no, he actually stunned. managed to get away with the Manta and the stuns are enough. He actually does tie to the blades. Durachio is getting a man Durachio. fight that he's actually winning for once. Durachio? The blades are cutting down Abed. What a fight for the carry of Gaming Gladiator showing there is still some life in this Luna to actually be able to carry the lineup. That is insane, but that is finally the fight that game we're looking for, where Duracho gets to stand his ground. The fight centered around him with that shard, doing an insane amount of work. And Satanic getting in there as well. He still doesn't have the level 25 talent, but damn it, that Silver Edge with some extra crits to do some work there. And now that ball is coming alive. Blacklist, they have Ooh, played this game man. pretty damn well, but that's a big misstep as the Glazer are just going to make quick work of the base. I mean, the upside is, I think Blacklist is... You you surely learned the lesson there. Gabby has to disable the Luna. Yeah, you focus Luna over this Pango for yeah. sure next fight, right? Yeah. The problem is going to be their two lanes of barracks down, and maybe even a third? I mean, they're going to be yeah, getting in some sort of fight, but... This is going to be a pick-off on the train five. protector who doesn't have a buyback. They're going to be a four versus five and maybe Megas. They do have the glyph still. I mean, you gave me to respect this right now. How much they believe in Duraccio being able to just sit here and take the fight. They also got a gem out of that pretty big. I mean, I would say, screw it. You're one fight away from winning this game. Force the mistakes out of them. Yeah, yeah. why not? Pops BKB immediately goes for the disable onto Luna. Down to half health. Can he get off the Titan and get the hits in? A bit of play, another charge. He just can't get the hits he's in healing. just a little bit. Oh, he's now he's healing back up. And Blacklist has to run. But Tim's, well, even if the, the heroes all get away, it's going to be the buildings that are going to be the problem here. Is, yeah, Tim's does get cut down. Got but the Mega. bigger problem is Megas. What the hell happened in this game? Abed comes back. He's like, guys, what? Oh, we were winning. Uh, we're still winning, right? I mean, they got to make something happen. You cannot let them get out of here for free. Quick refresh of the BKB, but Abed stuck inside the Sprout. He's it's rooted. bad. Inside the Sprout, silence up as well. Yule Scepter to be able to help out Raven. He's not able to get this fast kill anymore. Has to jump back. Heroes, three dead on the side of Blacklist. It's Gabby and Raven now. No longer have to go for kills, have to be able to somehow hold their Ancient. Now it's just Raven against the world, and there's no That's way he has game? a chance. GG just like that. What, what? a turn of fate. Uh, Ten minutes ago, this felt guaranteed for Blacklist. Southeast Asian Dota, man. I mean, always unpredictable. There's no other way to say it. I think Gamey are a little surprised they won that decisively off of how that game was going. Yeah, you're going to lane up against the Clock Muerta. What will Ace want to play against that? You'll have the support of a Grimstroke. Ooh, Dislike. the Wolf! It is good, I think, for like their type of own tempo. It reminds me a little bit of like some nine pandas draft, where you have like three heroes at 50 minutes, so just get very strong. You run at them together, you get the auras. Very annoying to play against. And that was a big advantage for Blacklist in game number one, was the fact that they uh, seemingly always had the vision advantage, right. thanks to their multiple invis heroes. And I think if Blacklist don't start the fight, it's very Big kill, if they can get it. You said they need to be able to shut down some of these heroes right, early, right. and they get the first blood and don't even trade out. In fact, Celery might die too. Okay, his heal's gonna make sure he's fine, but still, very bad trade-off for Game of Gladiators. Keep the kill threat up while he's getting burned. Yeah, it's crazy how that Devour just single-handedly is going to win them the resource war. Take away the mana from Duraccio, give them unlimited mana for Tims to be thrown around. Gabby is going to be in some trouble, though. Decrepify once again going to be put to use here. Yeah, it does have a Devour, but that's going to pop out the little golems, and those do a lot of damage. Uh, they've really upped the minus armor synergy on this lane, and it's working well as Alec is top of the board. Arcane room for Quinn. Quinn and Abed faking each other out, but Abed does manage to land the combo. The shield crash gives him a little bit of help, though, but the battery salt's going to be able to stop that rolling thunder. Couldn't get far enough away. A very well-executed gank by Blacklist, in particular Abed. He's not got, he hasn't gotten the power rune. 
This is eight minute power rune might decide a lot of this early game. It seems initially they want to put more pressure on mid, which is where Gaming Gladiators are free to dominate this safe lane. Like he's making this move, it's helping Ace, it's progressing Gaming's game plan, and it's freeing up some space for himself. And it results in this tower just going down without a fight. This is a tower I think Blacklist really wanted to take fights Carlo, around. I'm not sure if you want to be in that. Yeah, you're in the wrong neighborhood, son. It is delayed long enough for Ahmed to be able to show up. The problem is they're going to be running out of damage here. The FEX, yeah, to pull him back, but into what? Just keeping out. Good yeah. luck, Tims, later. <laughs> Clean so that throw fight a little up, bit Tims. more damage around. He does manage to get the Helmet Dominator creep, <laughs> I think. But Yo, yo, Tims, how'd, how'd that fight go? <laughs> Did you kill them all, bro? I mean, 90% of the things I bring up aren't relevant. <laughs> Why did that? Uh, that is true. big hook shot from Carlo. Denies the double damage, but it's gonna be stuck here. This is where this combination starts shining. Shining is if you can get pickoffs and hold somebody inside the cogs, then Pugna. Yeah, then Tim can run up, and he doesn't need the extra to crep cast range. You can just get in there close quarters right, and deal with the game. Whenever you think about the game, you're gonna get better. That's what DSJ told me. They're gonna look for win, <laughs> and they get another isolation. So the isolation kills is where this trio shot. Yeah. The Cogs keeping Ace back. Ace may not be able to get a return kill. Good use there of the bird to push him back in. The Hurricane bringing Carlo into striking distance for the Unstable Concoction. Doesn't get the damage because of the Decrepify, but Tim's just chased away. Can't heal Carlo. So it's a long chase down. It is a one for one trade off, but it was a, yeah, a lot of heroes came together on the side of Gaming Dang. Gladiators. All they got was the support out of it. I mean, they just farmed six Cogs. Do you debate in <laughs> high school? I feel like you're really good at BSing. No. It's a shame. I think he would have been very good at it. Ooh, he's stuck. He needs to be able to get away from the Pugna, broke but the link. stuck together. Dang. I'll be able to collect both the kills. You can solo crest these heroes in as well. Yeah, somebody's just dead. Like, yeah, what a Carlo spot. just can't even get off a spell there. Look Sounds at the up immediately, and everybody's Whoa. running in. Oh, no, Raven TP'd into this one. This could get really bad if Gaming Gladiators are able to run down all these heroes, but they're going to turn and fight onto the high ground here. The Enchanter's going to be a bit of trouble. It seems going to be sucked to death. The army is also going to be dying here. There's a lot of AoE damage coming out, but Darachi is finally able to catch back up here. The Unstable Concoction landing onto the Kunkka, but he's got a Blade Mail. Abed doing a good job creating space for the Muerta in the back lines. Yeah, even got next on the way out. Yeah, might be able to get the kill onto Duraccio. They're going to throw the Doom out on him, and Raven pops the ultimate, guaranteeing it. That went horribly for game. Maybe just too deep they couldn't run into the calling. Yeah. Raven really messed them up there on that hill. They just didn't want to commit. Celery's just stuck in, in no man's land. Whoa, 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 these items. Pick them up. Jesus. Well, guess the fight's not over. Golem still had unfinished business. He got him after the Rolling Thunder Ooh, on that Abed. X. Great timing by Abed. Wow. That was beautiful. So another bit of an overextension here. I mean, it's not always long enough. He's trying to rush some of the, the early stat items and straighten the meal in there. Abed got him on the X pull back there, allowing the boat to be able to land. And the hook shot lands to follow it up. Good combination. Once again, put together by Blacklist. Instant Wind. smoke. They want to fight with this torrent storm because that axe just got completed for Abed. No Pangolier. Can yeah. even get caught here. This is a terrible team fight for them. They're missing their biggest team fight tool, and Kunkka with an Aghanim Scepter is neon. He's not impossible in. to beat in this kind of situation. They got to get out of here. He's going to pop it. He spots some of these heroes. I mean, there's a BKB, so he can BKB TP. That's going to be a wasted one for Toracho. Does not want to have to do it. Yeah, he, oh, well, he may not know. The hook shot isn't up right now. He must turn. They're going to turn and fight a little bit here. This is dangerous, though, because that Doom is waiting, right? You get caught in a bad position on, like, an X-Doom, you're gone. Tier 2 gone for Blacklist bottom. There's a big wave pushing in top as well, so Blacklist... Yeah, they're losing on the map, but it, this fight is the important fight. Pushing Carlo over the side here. He wants to control this high ground area if he can, using the cogs to do it as best he can. But Blacklist are really not seeing an opportunity to jump out here. They're just going to forfeit the clockwork. He's going to buy back potentially, and they're going to need two because Quinn is rolling through, and they found the Huerta. Chaining up the stunts and getting a free bowling ball, just striking through all these heroes. But at the same time, the Muerta did manage to get off the ultimate and output a little bit of damage. Not enough to get a serious kill out of this. In fact, Celery somehow is still alive with his nature's attendance. He'll finish off the Muerta by himself. Blacklist put themselves 
backs against the wall. And it did not work out. No, not at all. And once more, Abed just TPs out. He's the only survivor here is, you know, create, create an anchor they can fight around. Suck him okay, in pull back into Pango, managed to get the Doom, but immediate response. They got the Soul Bind on it too, Double and that caught. puts the Doom in a nasty position while the Clockwork is going to rip the hard by Doraccio. Four Staff trying to get Gabby out of here, not good enough. Blacklist, that'll be Elena Barracks, Game and Gladiators. They got you just where they wanted you. Force a mistake out, and they can take a lane, maybe even more. This is the downside of Doom versus these like pseudo tri core lineups. You pick your poison, as we said at the beginning. Okay, you catch Quinn, you doom him. Even if he dies there, you still lost the fight. Yeah. The other two cores just have a freebie. Drawcho instantly goes in because the second Doom is gone. Alk is invincible. And now, your Doom is on cooldown even when he respawns, so. You just gave the green light for Gaiman to push with this Aegis. Another minute still on the clock. They have pretty good pull. And 30. So they might still be able to hold this one. Tidal Wave pulling back some heroes once again. Can't really capitalize on it. Jirachi will stun himself underneath the Tier 3 tower. Okay, never mind. Inks well. You get a Rolling Thunder out of it. So Doom back up. Maybe you can catch with an X. Yeah, the Trepify can slow down the Lycan long enough for the X to arrive. How are we going to hook him here? Got him back in. Okay, Raven gonna pop the ultimate. There's the hook shot to make Ooh. sure that the Lycan who got a four staff. Okay, caught a random oh, tour and does manage to die. The RNG. A little lucky there, but just what Blacklist needed. A tidal wave trying to push in Duraccio even further. They're gonna catch him, try and burn away that Aegis. Duraccio's trying to limp away, but he won't get out. He's gonna be stuck here and he's gonna be coming back into a Cox, pushing him into Raven with all that damage. He's gonna be KB TP out, but the Doom is, doesn't stop him. Yeah, that was ambitious. <laughs> Might kill him in the fountain. It's gonna be close. I think he'll live, but... Still, good fight for Blacklist. I mean, not versus Smokes and breaking him, right? Like, that's the weakness of it. Oh, he oh, managed to get the on two, but hand them where to capitalize on this one. A little bit too far away, but they do manage to get the BKB already out. Rolling Thunder. Not really doing too much either. Yeah, they're kiting it out. Blacklist have kited this out pretty nicely, and Game of Gladiators is stuck in kind of an awkward next position on here. Yeah, they do manage to get him. They're going to control him up a little bit longer. The Torrent Storm's going up. Oh, going to force him up to the high ground, and the shot is not enough. And now Duraccio back in. That Doom has a war. Oh, he got a great stun. Raven, though, still on his ultimate. Another now they're stuck inside the cogs. Quinn has the roll up, though, and Duraccio was able to fight his way out of the cogs on the low ground, yeah, not able to chase after Raven, him. Raven, your clock. Ticking to midnight, my friend. BKB and running the bail after out. him. Isn't able to get the stun onto him. Raven, he's gonna have to fight for his life up against this Pango, and it looks like the damage is there just from right clicks by the Pango by itself. Another corridor fight that does not end well for the Mortas. Blacklist cut their losses and just bail. Once more, it's Abed preserving his zero deaths in this game, but at what cost? Like, Duraccio yes. went out of that fight. Like, the reason he did 6,000 damage on Muerta without a single kill was because he would bring him down to, like, half. A little quick pick off for Blacklist. Five-man smoke. Maybe well, not, Maybe not actually. so quick. Celery staying alive for a decent amount of time while Quinn rolls around. And once again, KB is used up by Raven. And now they're going to be caught in a bad situation with Duraccio coming in. They're trying to get the heals out. They have the Decrepify last a little bit longer with that ultimate, but Raven can't do the damage, man. He just, these heroes are too tanky. <sighs> too much regen. All these heroes have like baseline 30 HP regen because this Lycan just buffing everything up. And, but. Le level 18, like this window is a big upgrade for Muerta, right? Because you get level 3 ultimate and you get the level 20 talent. Yep. So he gets 150 bonus damage. He has an extra second duration. He has Mind Breaker now as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, he has that level 15 talent. Like there's a lot of little things going into bumping up this hero's damage. And you need it all right now because your base is just dying. You got no glyph. Uh, anybody home? The wolves at your door. Okay, they're gonna hit it by the rolling thunder. They're not gonna be able to stop Duraccio right away. To grab the fight for a little bit of period of time. Duraccio's still, Duraccio is committed. He's like, okay, you can win that fight if you want, but the Megas have already been taken. Now Blacklist rivalry have to like wipe this game of Gladiators team, and it's gonna be all up to Raven right here in the middle of all these heroes with his ultimate pop, but his damage is just not enough. Not even close. No chance in hell. Hobbit will not survive. Gets another swipe in there from the Lycan for 800 damage. Can only TP out so many times. And now the base is just gone. I mean, Gabby's sitting in the back like, uh, who am I jumping here? Well, you're jumping to another series because this one's over. Game of Gladiators, closed it out.
with the 2-0. They managed to come back in that game one against Blacklist Rivalry, and we talked about it. We felt like this game was a harder one. Yeah, I think this draft is Blacklist. This draft's insanely hard to execute, and you're doing it against, you know, the most consistent team in the world, right? Yep. 